Okay, hello everyone. Um, let's get started here. Welcome to our webinar uh, from Concept to Creation with the Zometry Added for SolidWorks. Um, we're excited to show you a live demo today of the SolidWorks add-in as well as the new features. And um, let's get started. Okay, so let's do a poll real quick. I wanna keep it um, engaging. How are you all today? Okay, now let's see what the results are. And we had a lot of people say great. Ooh, and some people are looking for a pick me up right about now. So we're gonna try and keep the happy streak here and you know try and engage those who need a pick me up right now. All right. Um, great. So I am Serena. You've probably gotten emails from me um, and read some of my blog posts. I'm your co-host today. Um, Hunter here is the SolidWorks add-in expert. So he'll be doing a quick introduction of himself, Zometry. Then we'll jump into the instant quoting demo with the SolidWorks add-in. Um, we'll show you new features via the add-in as well. Uh, walk through where to find and how to use the user guide tutorials and show you some online resources, including FAQs and live engineering support. If you stick around to the end, um, we'll have a special coupon surprise for you. And here's Hunter. Hey everyone, thanks Serena for the introduction and thank you all for joining with us today. My name is Hunter Guerin and I work on the product team here at Zometry focused specifically on giving customers a great user experience in both the web platform and our two great add-ins. Prior to Zometry, I was a mechanical engineer with nearly nine years of experience in CAD design, working on rugged hardware um, and thermal control systems for the aerospace industry. Um, I've been at Zometry for about two years now, and while I love our web platform and our add-ins equally, the thing I love most about the add-in is it gives engineers the ability to iterate on designs and get real price uh, feedback right there in CAD. So wanna know how to make your part cheaper? Easy, just open up the add-in iterate on the design and price out a couple different designs in, in a matter of seconds. So we'll get started here, but first another poll. This time, how much do you know about Zometry? Okie dokie, we've got most of the votes in. Okay. Okay, all right, yeah. So it looks like some of you don't know a ton about Zometry. Um, and others know a little bit. So don't worry, we'll get you up to speed um, with a brief intro of Zometry. So we are Zometry and we want to be your one-stop shop for manufacturing so that you can buy any part in your assembly or project all in one place. We offer 13 unique processes. Um, our most common CNC machining, sheet metal, both plastic and metal 3D printing and injection molding. So Zometry has transformed the way that people get quotes today, taking everything online. And we do that through a AI powered quoting engine that uses your parts geometry and hundreds of thousands of data points to give you a instant price to manufacture your part. Now, let's take a look at the old way of doing things. Um, very fragmented, very time consuming, uh, very opaque. Uh, Zometry has changed that by bringing everything online. Now, some of you noted in our poll that you didn't realize that we had a network of manufacturers, but we do, and that is how we source your parts. We have a network of over 2,500 vetted qualified suppliers that bring unique skill sets and offer unlimited capacity to customers anywhere in the US. We're proud to say that Zometry is a preferred manufacturer for a large portion of Fortune 100 and Fortune 500 companies through our intuitive quoting interface. Now that we've done a brief intro about Zometry the company, we'll move on to our new add-in for SolidWorks. 
Um, a lot has changed, but a couple of key features that we'll touch on in the demo, it's up to three times faster than previous versions. We're really excited about that. Any way that we can make quotes faster to help you get that price instantly um, is a big win for us. So we're really excited about that. Uh, we've also added a few new manufacturing technologies. We're always growing. Uh, we added new inspection options. We've added new certification options and we've reduced lead times on two of our most popular 3D printing processes. So getting started is easy. Um, if you want to follow along through the demo, you can just download the add-in from the website. There's a link here, summitry.com forward slash SolidWorks. Um, or if you want to um, just follow along and play with the add-in on your own time after the webinar, that's fine too. So now we'll transition to the actual add-in and Hunter and I are going to pop off video here so you can see the full screen. Okay. So when you open SOLIDWORKS, the add-in will pop up right on your task pane on the right. Um, you, you can get to it by clicking on the little blue X. Um, tip here, if you want to anchor a add-in or this task pane open, you can pin it here so that the add-in will always stay expanded. Um, you can log in here using your existing Zometry credentials. Uh, if you don't already have an account, you can create an account by clicking on this link here. Now, when we open um, a, a part here, a simple bracket, we can create a new quote with this part, getting price and lead time instantly just by clicking add part to quote. So when you add a part to the quote, we're sending it to our quoting engine. Um, we're gathering information from the geometry and um, the thousands of data points, and we're sending back a price. This is just a simple bracket with a few flanges and a couple of through holes. So um, bam, right here in SOLIDWORKS, you have an instant price to manufacture this part. Um, let's take a second to go through the add-in and the interface just to get you acquainted before we move deeper into the power of the add-in. So, at the top, you have a quote summary. Uh, this lists your quote ID. If you ever need to um, talk to support or uh, someone at Zometry about your quote, you can reference your quote ID here, which is unique um, to this part and this quote. Um, we show you instant price. And now the key here is that this is a actual price. This is not an estimate. Uh, you can buy this part directly from the add-in by clicking on review quote and then check out, which we'll show later. But um, we also give you an estimated delivery date and a lead time to make the part. Um, and if your part qualifies to be expedited, you can change the lead time here. Uh, you can print a PDF quote that you can send to a purchaser or a colleague um, once you've configured the quote. Uh, moving down, we have an errors and warnings section, which is our manufacturability feedback, which is uh, where you will see feedback on your model. Um, should there be any to help us make sure that we can make that part to your specifications. Um, below that is the part summary. So you can actually add as many parts to this quote as possible, but the active part will always be summarized here with its price, uh, overall dimensions, and a summary of what we've quoted in. Right now it's aluminum 6061 with a standard finish. You can also modify the quantity here to benefit from um, the economy of scale in manufacturing or, or another process. Um, and then you move down to the specification section, and this is where you can add requirements, um, change materials, change processes, add finishes, features, etc. So the material tab is the first place that you land, and it's um, one of the most powerful. So we've already quoted in 6061 because uh, we knew that this part was 6061 um, from the material in the model tree. But let's say we want to try to price this in some other aluminum alloy like 7075. So right there, uh, two seconds, uh, we have a updated price. Um, that's about three times faster than uh, version three. So uh, makes it really easy for you to compare prices, okay? So you can also change uh, the process here using the process dropdown. Let's say you just want this part faster. Right now it's nine days. Um, so let's try printing it in one of our printing processes like fused deposition modeling or FDM, which is great for prototyping and offers lead times as low as two days. It looks like this part would be made in three. Um, but let's go back to CNC um, 
that's what we wanted originally. Now, we have the price, we can move forward, but let's say budget is a constraint and we're looking for ways to cut costs. So uh, we get this question all the time, how can I make a part cheaper? Well, let's find out. This is the this is what I consider one of the most valuable parts of the add-in that you can iterate on this design. So I'm iterating here and it knows that I just changed the model. So it's asking me to save and it's just gonna update a new revision. So we're gonna rerun the analysis to make sure that we're quoting the current version and we're gonna send the price back. Um, previously, we were around $390 to make this part and now we're around 370. So we could reduce the price by about $20 just by removing that hole. And we can continue to iterate on designs uh, to make sure um, that we're optimizing for that. Um, before we move on, uh, wanted to highlight the two brand new um, manufacturing technologies that we offer, uh, SLA, stereolithography, and HB multi-jet fusion, along with the other 13 different processes here. So uh, we know it's gonna be 6061. Now we wanna add a finish. Just click on the finish tab and you can access uh, all of our finishes. We have a lot for aluminum. We have different finishes for different materials, um, but Let's go with one of our most common, Kim Film Clear. And again, instantly the price is updating. So there's no waiting around for a finishing shop or a machine shop to get back to you. Um, you could try to compare clear anodized versus clear Kim Film if you're looking for um, a similar finish, but um, and you want to just kind of optimize for price. So the features tab is where you can get really specific um, and uh, specify threads, tapped holes, uh, tight tolerances, surface roughness, part marking. Um, since we have a couple of through holes here, I'm going to add uh, two tight tolerances here in two places. We can um, lower the surface area, uh, the surface roughness in case there's a thermal interface here we want to optimize, and then we can add some part marking so we can label this part with its part number. As soon as you add features that require a little more detail, um, from the engineer, we will prompt you to upload a drawing because we need to know where those tolerances are and uh, where the surface roughness um, needs to improve. So you can come to the inspection notes and drawings tab and you can just search for the um, drawing that's associated with this bracket and upload it there. And then um, since we have some tight tolerances, we can add inspections um, to get a bubble report uh, correlated to that engineering drawing I just uploaded. Um, we have added two brand new inspection options here, uh, making it six total, uh, FAI, first article inspection and source inspection. Um, that's an industry best uh, six instant pricing inspection options. Um, and if you need to learn more about uh, what an inspection is, um, or get even more into detail, you can use the information bubbles and the hyperlinks within the add-in. So let's go ahead and um, update the quote. Okay, so I've specified everything that I want to specify on this part. So I can go into review quotes. So this is where I make sure everything is specified correctly. Um, and it's also where you can add certification requirements. So I'd like to add material certs and certificates of conformance here to add some traceability to this part um, for our records. And we have uh, three material cert options. We have two brand new options for DFARS and domestic um, compliance. Um, but for this one, I'm just gonna stick with a standard material cert, CFC, so I'll update the quote. Okay, so, um, I want to benefit from the economy of scale here. Um, so I'd like to quickly find out how much it might cost to make 10 of these. So 200 each compared to 900 previously. Now, what if I uh, want to make 25 of these? We'll drop that down to 136 each. We can keep going. Um, there is a break point where quantity becomes um, valuable at, at scale. Now. We have simply quoted a single part here. Um, I mentioned earlier that you can quote as many parts as you um, have in your assembly. So let's add the simple dowel pin here. Um, we can add this to the quote, which now it's going to upload this geometry um, to the quoting engine and send back 
a price. I mentioned that we offer 13 different processes. Um, we can quote this in 3D printing and the other part in CNC um, and buy two different processes in the same quote. Now this defaults to CNC because the other part is already CNC, but let's quote this in SLA. Now we can go back to the quote and you'll notice that we have uh, the simple dowel and the simple bracket in this quote. Again, we could change quantity here. Um, or we have decided that we don't want to order the simple bracket. We can simply remove it from the quote here. And once you're ready to check out, everything is done. Just simply click checkout. And that will take you to the Zometry checkout page where you can purchase with a credit card, purchase order. Um, and you can also access all of your old quotes and orders in your order history. That's it for the demo. Now we're going to talk about a few online resources. All right, so that was a lot. Um, we have provided a few different resources here on the Zometry website in case you need help uh, down the road. We have a user guide and uh, nine easy to follow tutorials to help you get um, acquainted with the add in. You can also always contact support should you have any other questions. And I'm going to turn my camera back on here, and Hunter, you have as well. Um, so we're going to end out uh, this webinar by showing you some resources. Now, here you see um, our three main, the, the value we bring to our customers, and you can find out more about this on our website. Uh, we have web pages that will go in more detail about our network capacity, instant quoting engine, and our guaranteed quality. Here we have online resources. We have lots of engineering challenge videos. So um, we tested a bunch of different materials and processes uh, with Greg, our applications engineer there. Uh, we have down free downloadable design guides for each process. And we also have case studies, DFM tips, and a lot more on our blog. You can find uh, live, we have live engineering support. Um, this is Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. And you can contact us through email, phone, or chat. Um, after hours, feel free to browse our FAQ at zometry.com support. And thank you so much for sticking around to the end. Uh, we have a coupon code for you guys. It's webinar100 to get $100 off your next order. This coupon code is good until March 31st. But if you don't have a, a project that you're currently working on and need a discount for, uh, we have our referral program. So for every person you refer, you get a $20 gift card. And they also get a $20 gift card just for quoting. You don't have to order. Just submit your first instant quote. And now we'll open up the uh, webinar for questions. And you're free to type in the questions, and we'll get them. All right, we have one question here, Hunter. Um, does adding a drawing for added feature requests ever increase part cost, or is the quoted part final? So as long as the um, drawing doesn't call out anything that hasn't already been called out on the uh, add-in. So for example, if you have five tolerances um, in the add-in and um, as long as those five tolerances match to five tolerances in the drawing, or if you have four threaded holes in the add-in and they have to match, um, as long as there's not a discrepancy between what is on the drawing and what has been added to the quote, um, then the, the price is final and we stick by it. But um, sometimes if there are um, clauses in the drawing or anything out of the ordinary that isn't already captured on the quoting platform, um, there could be a review from our engineering team um, and an update to the price. But typically, um, as long as things are captured well on the add-in, um, the price is final and there's no, um, there are no changes that need to be made. All right, a couple more came in. Is it okay to use your add-in as a quoting tool even if we don't order much? Absolutely. That is, um, going back to my value of the add-in, um, you can quote 
thousands of parts if you want and, and not buy. Uh, we, we would love to make parts for you, but um, it gives everyone that tool for free um, to iterate designs and check prices um, and use that information however you feel necessary. And is there a minimum required SOLIDWORKS version for the PUP plugin? Great question. So we actively support all the way back to 2016, um, but the add-in should work all the way back to 2012. Um, okay. And then how about metal X or desktop metal type FDM metal processes? So we offer a few um, processes that you might not see on the instant quoting platform, but it's a case by case basis. Um, the engineering team would have to get involved and, and identify um, network capacity for uh, that particular process. Uh, we do offer custom materials for every process. So if you don't see a material in the material dropdown, there is a custom option for every process and you can specify a custom material. Uh, but if it's a, if it's a, printing technology that we don't offer on the site, um, then uh, likely we we don't service that process, but in some rare cases, we can make exceptions. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Hunter, for um, your expertise. Thank you. Um, thank you all for joining our webinar. Uh, we hope you found it valuable, and there will be a, a recording of this available on our website. We'll send it out after a follow-up email and right after this there will be a survey we would really appreciate it if you could take it and give us feedback on how we can improve thanks so much guys bye bye, bye.